Hey Brian here from Desert Fabworks. I want to do a little video today on the workflow and the process for my multi-layer signs. So this guy right here, I've got 55 of these taken and put together. So what I did is taken, cut out the, the all the components out of the plasma machine. Then everything went to paint. Um, these pieces right here on the front, um, this is a translucent red with a clear coat on top. And then I have my swords here, two different versions of the swords. And then I've got my back piece. I took and grained it and then put a clear coat on it. It's an automotive grade um, uh, two part clear that uh, I use on these to give it a nice wet look and uh, really make it stand out. Okay, so once shine. these are all painted, cleared, dried, everything's ready to go, we're gonna start the assembly process. So what I do is I take and come in here and put 3M VHB tape on the back of these um, in the different spots that I want it to go. If you're not familiar with 3M VHB tape, it's basically the same tape that's used to hold on the emblems and the badges on your vehicles. So, you know, 10, 20 years out there, rain, snow, car washes, everything else holds those badges and decals on. So it works really well, very durable. Uh, I've been doing it for about 20 years and it's been very successful for me. because so I don't like to see um, any type of fasteners on it. I want a very clean look. I want it to like, you know, they go, how is that on there? Kind of type deal when they when they look at it. So um, I have prepped all these with the VHB tape, kind of getting a rhythm of putting it. It has to be in specific locations for the points that it contacts, depending on the different component. So I get it all set and, and then have these ready to go. So then because I've got a lot of these to do, it would be very difficult to take and place all these and get everything lined up. Uh, one at a time without some sort of reference. So very easy little template out of cardboard. This probably took me all of three minutes to make. Um, used a little bit of uh, spray glue to hold these different components together. But basically the piece is gonna sit in here and then I've got lines drawn on here where my swords cross and the, and the pieces meet. And then that's gonna go right on top here and I can match everything up, line it up, and it goes very quick. So here we go, we'll grab one off the rack and you'll see the, the whole process. So I grab one, that's my, my blank. One of the first things I do is put a decal on the back. I always like to have my information on it so down the road they can order, order more or uh, if anybody asks where you got it, who made it, the information is right there. I also paint the backs of all my pieces. I think it gives a more finished look, protects it, and um, looks a little bit nicer down the road. So I drop it into my template here. I take and throw this across here. I come in with my first sword. It's gonna go across the bottom. I have my two reference marks that line up. Place that there. Come in with my second sword. I take and get my two reference points. You can place that down. Come in here with my mask, and this I uh, a couple years ago I got calibrated eyeballs put in, so it makes it for centering things up in the in the plasma world. It makes it very easy. So that goes on there. Take and come in with our custom laser engraved nameplate. We use the two part plastics and our CO2 laser to take and make these in house. We take and come in, set this, and. Away you go, one was knocked out. I mean, I have to look back at the uh, clock there on there and see how fast it was. But it goes very quick for doing a lot of these. And so these templates like this can really help you out. Thanks for watching. Um, if you'd like to like and subscribe, we got some other great videos out there in reference to CNC Plasma. And also check out cncplasmainfo.com. We've got a whole website dedicated to plasma tips and tricks. Lots of information, some free files over there. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks again for watching. Bye.